Uh, let's have a look and see who is in my green room this evening. My first guest is the quintessential English actress with the name to prove it. It is the lovely Helena Bonham Carter. Yeah. Helena, thank, thank you for coming you. on. Thanks thank for you. having me. I love Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> You know, Helena, you are only uh, the second double barrel name guest we've ever had on the show. Who was the other one? It was uh, H from Steps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lovely to have you here. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. That was a lovely film in there. Will you please welcome the gorgeous Helena Bonham Carter. I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. Sit, sit yourself down. Um, <laughs> hey, you, you know, I love the way you dress. Do you? you look absolutely You're probably the only person in the world. I suspect, what? I mean, it's a small group. Because it is a small group. Often we see you photographed out and about, and it's eccentric, it's unique, it's very much your own style. Yeah, um, I think so. These are some photographs. Well, that's a very, not quite a normal looking thing, apart from the glasses there. Yeah, that's not nice. bad. But that's, that's quite unusual. That's Vivian Westwood. Yeah, but you know, you, you, and you wear it very well. Uh, I like that. What's wrong with that? No, nothing's wrong with it. I like all of it. Don't get defensive. Yeah. But I'm sure a lot of people do think that you dress a bit like someone who hasn't got a mirror or a light bulb. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, I, I get the same oh. accusations, Helena. I, I love what good. No, but I love the way you dress because it is so... And, uh, you know, everyone seems to follow, more often than not, what's dictated to them in magazines. No, I definitely don't do that. Yeah. And, and basically, when I get dressed, I dress up. I guess I sort of treat it like a costume and, the, and I think most of us do as women, we sort of buy something and by putting something on you think you're going to transform into this different Become a thing different and person. then you see the photo and you realise you haven't. But in your head and in your mirror at home, which is dully lit, it's true, <laughs> it looks fantastic. And, the, but, and then, but then all these magazines that take photos of you, they are out to make you look horrific. Horrible, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then, but I tell you, if you come to my home and see me in the room and in them and Tim's you know Tim's got an eye now hold it this is Tim Burton who is your yeah. he's not your husband he's your partner your yeah. kind of living partner lover boy good as yeah. I'm yeah. Just okay but, um, there he's there because he has a unique sense of dressing as well yeah. he looks to me like he looks like Bob Dylan with, with an eye problem a bit <laughs> more <laughs> Bob Dylan. somebody thought he was Bob Dylan actually he's Dylan-esque but does he um, not vet but does he approve of the do you say what does this look like should I go at this and he goes maybe that's a bit much or do you ever listen or yeah I do sometimes he um He'll vet me just before I leave, and then he'll take something one off, one one thing off me. Because you like a lot of things. So. I do like excess. I do like lots of things. I mean, what's the point of buying them if you don't wear them Absolutely. all at once? But but, but no, <laughs> never never more than three hats at any one time, Helen. <laughs> no, three hats. Well, I don't know. It's, it's true. My mum did remind me once that I only had one head. And did I did you have more than one hat on? I had several and lots of glasses. <laughs> in but but he says on the whole that I wear one thing too many and. And that's probably tactful. I've said that to my wife, but she was wearing a bikini at the time, so she objected. <laughs> hey, we're talking clothes here. Pay some attention, or you're never coming shopping with us again. I'm getting, I'm getting tennis tips. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, now we just saw Helena Bonham Carter in uh, a room with a view, of course, which is many years ago. Oh no, that's years ago. Do you do you like watching yourself on screen? Do you no, watch I your finished it. movies back? No, I hate watching. Why do you hate? What do you not like? About I don't know. But I think the basic thing is that you get into acting. What I do to try and sort of. Um, pretend to be somebody else and then when you see it at the end of the day you realize it's you it's a bit like putting on fun clothes or you think that you're going to transform yourself and then ultimately you look at the screen and you still think i'm just indelibly me so but I'm is that even in, even in roles that are far removed from you like uh, a movie you were planet in planet of the apes was the only one that well, uh, planet of the apes well, yeah. well of course planet of the apes is a long yeah, way removed from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go i think yeah even your mother wouldn't yeah. recognize you there <laughs> no, <I didn't laughs> she's the one in the middle with the bald head by the way that's a lot of makeup did you enjoy making that film? Um, did I enjoy being it? being a monkey? A monkey. I liked um, not looking like me. Uh, it was four hours of makeup every day. We'd have to wake up like the first makeup call was one thirty um, in the morning. That's ridiculous. Um, and then the thing that I did, I, lo I love going to ape school. I had to go to ape school. Now this is where you learn to be a, a monkey if you are going to be a monkey in a movie or perhaps yeah. a drama yeah. production of some sort. So what do they teach you? How to stand, how to move, how to yeah. think like a monkey? That's good. <laughs> like that, isn't it? No. <laughs> That's quite good, I know. No, the thing is, I think... You but you're being a chimp, I'm being a dominant male gorilla. <laughs> really? It's good that you told me. <laughs> It did, end, it did end up being quite useful going to ape school, and I can't remember why, but a lot of it was concentration. It was like, I actually failed ape school because they said that I was Hold not on. good concentration. How do you fail? They have a test at the end of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or like a, an A proficiency test. Yeah. Um, let me ask you about the new movie you're making with Tim Burton next, which is, I believe you're filming at the moment. Yeah, Sweeney. Which is Sweeney Todd, the Stephen Sondheim musical. And this is the musical being translated to the screen for the first time, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, now, what's his plans for that? And you're playing who in that? And, and what's going on with that movie? It's a musical of, Tim, of uh, Stephen Sondheim, Sweeney Todd. And uh, Johnny Depp plays Sweeney. I play Mrs. Lovett. And um, he basically is a serial murderer, and I make pies out of. You make um, pies out of the people, out and it's people. got some great weird songs in it, of course, isn't it? It's a brilliant. I've been to see the musical any number of times. I love it. Yeah, no, I love it. I've always loved it. I've loved it since I was about eleven. In fact, I've always wanted to be Mrs. Lovett, so it's a complete dream come true. So even when you were a child, you liked the idea of making pies from human flesh. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, that's weird because like when I went up for the part, my uh, great friend of mine, Deb, said like, "Well, of course you're going to get it." I said, "Well, not necessarily at all." In fact, it was a close run thing, and. Uh, she said, she said, I said, why? And he said, well, because we call you Mrs. Lovett. And I had, a, apparently I went around with Mrs. Lovett hairdos when I was 11. So, so obviously this is like, it, for me, it is a real dream. When did you start being a strange person? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you are quite a strange person, in a charming way, but you are an unusual person. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> um, I guess when I popped out of the womb, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'd never thought I was strange, so... Yeah, but um, if you were going around dressing like Mrs. Lovett when you were yeah. there, which is great, I love that, you know, yeah, but it is it? unusual. I, I mean, Possibly. do you come from a theatrical family, your parents? No, not at they? all. Well, I think my mother innately, as a character, might be somewhat theatrical, because she's, right. she's foreign. Um, oh, well, that's it, say no more. Uh, <laughs> Where is well, she from? What part of the world? She's half French, half Spanish. Oh, well, that's a nice mix, I want to mention. Yeah, it's a great mix. And, and then she's got a bit of Russian in there, and a bit of... Uh, Austrian, Jewish. Oh, yeah, she's a complete I mumble. think she's a fantasist. She's invented this past. She claims to come from every part yeah. of Europe. She has. Yeah, she really has. She is a mongrel. Was it a bohemian upbringing? I mean, did they let you do more or less what you wanted? Was it there were freedom like that that you think you, you um, enjoyed? No. No. We were brought up in Golders Green. It was very normal, uh, um, I think. Um, background and upbringing. Yeah. You can't really remember a lot about your past. <laughs> I think, I think well, we need I another so session, to be honest with you, before we can start making any progress. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, anyway, can I ask how old you are? How long? I'm 41. 41? You look incredible mm. for 41. Thank you. And I'm guessing from here, you, don't have, you haven't had any work done for no, the little I things? Don't. Wow. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Fran. Thank you very much. Now That's my mum. I mean, mum mom looks great. No, never mind your mum. Now's the time you say something nice about me. Yeah. You do look great. He does look great, actually. He does. Doesn't he look great? Yeah. yeah. Rob, yeah. Rob, don't I look good for my age? I think you look fantastic, and I mean that sincerely. Yeah. You look great. <laughs> and as an older man, you would know, wouldn't you? <laughs> Greg and I have very large chins, but we do just have the one. <laughs> Hey, what are you laughing at? You like put that beard down. <laughs> how old are you, fellas, Bobber? Who's the how old's the youngest? How old are you, the little one in the blue thing? Nineteen. <laughs> yeah, the hoodie. What? How old are you? Nineteen. I can't haggis. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got nits as well. Get the light cleaning. <laughs> hey, Helena. Yeah. This way. Sorry. Helena. Yeah. <laughs> Helena. Have you have a country. you have a little boy, I believe. Yeah. How old is he and what's his name? He's three. How, what a lovely age, three. I know, it's fantastic. He's called Billy. Little yeah. boy called Billy. And you have, I believe, what would seem to many people quite unusual living arrangements. Is this correct? You and your partner and the baby? It's fantastic. Okay. I mean, I live, I suppose what you're alluding to is the fact that we live next door to each other. Okay, so, right? so yeah, so you're in a, a, a relationship, a loving, caring, trusting, nurturing, supportive relationship. Yes. And physical, no doubt. Yeah, well, Billy does it of course, suggest he lives that. <laughs> yeah. And yet you live in two separate houses. Yeah. Well, originally they were separate. Now I could say that they are joined. So they're, they're next door to each other? They're next door to each other. But they are joined by this, um, this room. When, when I got pregnant, um, we started building this little room to join the two. So we wouldn't have to go inside and outside. Because so Billy's in Tim's house because I didn't have enough rooms well, in hold my... Hold on, hold on. But you could have just moved in together, couldn't you? Most no. people would say, you know what, we've got two houses here, we're going to get together now. Yeah. Let's sell them and get a house together, one house, yeah. the family house. Yeah, stupid. Not, let's knock a tunnel through. Yeah. But we're trying to get out of cold, it's <laughs> maybe in a broom cupboard.